Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Arena Breakout in Finite for better FPS, maximum performance, and fix lags and stutter. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be helping you guys tune your windows as well as your game. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and then come down to personalization. Head over to colors and simply turn the transparency effects off. This will disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent. After that, head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. This will disallow windows to open up game bar which is an overlay service and it consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background. After that, click on gaming again, head over to game mode and then you have to enable game mode. This will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to to improve your FPS. Then click on the graphics button underneath and then you're gonna have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce input latency by using advanced features in the compatible games. Click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling since this setting alone will help you to optimize your performance drastically. It utilizes your graphic card over your CPU based graphics if you have dual graphic card on your PC. Then click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your Arena Breakout Infinite game. Select uagame.exe which should be under the AB Infinite binaries Win64 and you have to select it. Click on add and if that is already added, select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to a very simple tool to optimize your PC and not just your PC, you can also optimize your games. Simply go to the link in the description below and download Hone for your PC. Once you open up this application, you will see an interface like this. What you guys have to do is head over to the optimizations tab and simply enable these optimizations, some of which includes optimize windows power plan, disable transparency, general windows optimization along with optimize windows timer resolution to reduce input latency, disable windows power throttling and disable windows game bar which will help you to simply turn this feature off. If individual optimizations are too confusing for you guys, simply head over to the games tab and then search for arena breakout. As you guys can see, it offers arena breakout infinite, simply select it and then what you have to do is simply select best performance and this will apply all of the required optimization settings right on your PC and it will help you to optimize its performance and boost your FPS in games. Once again, I have left a free download link to hone.gg right in the description below. It offers a ton of features which I think that you guys should go and check it out for yourselves. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor. Open it up and right over here double click on computer configuration, administrator templates, windows components and then app privacy. Right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is set to enable. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on apply and simply close it. After that you have to close your local group policy editor. Next step is disabling unwanted services on your PC and for that simply press windows and R key together and then type in services.msc. Press enter. Once you're over here, you're looking for one service called sysmain. Scroll down and find sysmain on your PC. Once you find it, right click on that and head over to its properties. Select the startup type and set this thing to disable. If this is running, you need to stop it. Sysmain turned off will help you to optimize your PC by reducing the load on your processor. After that, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Right over here, select your local disk C and click on the create button. Name it Arena Breakout Infinite with ABI and simply press enter. This will help you to create a system restore file in case if anything goes wrong, you can always revert it back again. Once that is done, simply close it and close system properties. The next step is Arena Breakout Infinite FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in six very simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you guys have any AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority and similarly for the Intel CPU priority if you have that. This will help you to set up the best DWORD value for your processor to improve its performance. After that, click on the second folder which is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your system. I use 32GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. Could be different for you so you can apply it from this list and once again if that doesn't work out well or as intended you can always reset it back to default. Third folder is Arena Breakout Infinite Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Once that is done, click on the back button and then head over to disable unwanted services in which I have left a few services which are absolutely useless but they're still running in the PC and they're consuming your system's resources. To disable that, simply double click and apply every single one of these registry except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services. This will help you to reduce your system load and free up your CPU and RAM for 
games. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and you can enable them back again from here. Fifth folder is one of the most important one because it contains a power plan. Simply right click on the ultimate performance plan and simply click on run as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command which will add a new power plan onto your PC. To access that, simply double click on power plans and then you wanna have to click on ultimate performance. This will override your system's preferences and disable all kind of power saving features to help you improve your hardware's performance. After that, head back to the sixth folder which is programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter and this will delete all of your temporary files. It is highly recommended to do it every now and then when you open up your game or even when you open up your windows. This will help you keep your PC optimized. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Now this software is very useful if you want to change your graphic cards inter priority which will help you to optimize its performance. Simply select your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. After that make sure that the inter priority is set to high and this will prioritize your graphic card to handle more interrupts while you're gaming. After that, simply close it and then you want to have to close the FPS back. Next step is disabling as many startup applications as you can. And for that, simply press Ctrl, Shift and Escape to open up your task manager. Over here, head over to the fourth tab which says startup apps. And right over here, you'll find all of the applications which are installed on your PC, which are currently being used as your startup apps. Make sure to disable almost every single one of them, which you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will help you to reduce the number of applications running in the background and it will help you to optimize your PC performance and also reduce your BIOS time, which is the time taken by your PC to boot up. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is defragging and optimizing disk drives and for that simply search for defrag and optimize drives and right over here select your local disk C and then click on the optimize button. This will help you to trim your SSD and if you guys have a hard disk drive, click on analyze and let it analyze the fragments and then simply click on optimize and this will help you to fix your hard disk drives. This will improve the performance of your drives and help you to optimize the loading screen times and fix unwanted micro stutters. I would highly recommend you guys to do it for all of your drives every now and then. Also click on the change settings button and make sure that run on a schedule, change it to weekly and make sure that this is active. Click on OK button and simply close it. Next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to image. Over here, make sure that your screen resolution is your normal screen resolution and your screen mode is set to full screen. After that, you have to come down and your max FPS, you're gonna have to set this thing to the highest available for your monitor. For VSync, turn it off and then you have super sampling. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use NVIDIA DLSS. If you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with FX super resolution. And for the super resolution quality, I have gone with performance because it gives the highest FPS. Frame interpolation, I have gone with FSR balance, but you guys can also go with FSR performance. NVIDIA reflex low latency, I have gone with enhanced. Other detailed settings, view distance and texture quality should be set to balanced. Rest everything should be set to performance. And once that is done, click on the save button and click on confirm. After that, you guys can go drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.